Hello and welcome. In this video, I will give a tour of the Project Manager Excel template. This template is available from inzara.com. This is an Excel template which can help you to manage a project. In this template, you can also plan your project and also manage it after the project begins to completion. The template also allows you to manage the project cost and also the resources associated with the project. You provide the input such as how long the task will take and you assign it to a resource and then the template can automatically schedule the task for you specifically which dates the task will be worked on and how many hours each day will be automatically handled by the template and this will save a lot of time for you. The template also provides readily printable dashboards, reports and also the custom built Gantt charts and there are smart visual feedback throughout the template which will help you to identify the gaps or the issues in your project which you can take actions to improve and ultimately manage and optimize the project duration and the cost of the project. Before we get into the specifics of the template, I want to spend a few minutes about the project management framework that's used in this template. A, pro a project usually contains multiple tasks. All the tasks have to be completed for the project to be completed. The tasks can be parallel. For example, here task 1, 2, 3 can be done parallelly. Or the tasks can be dependent on each other. For example, here task 2 can begin only when task 1 is completed. Or you could have a hybrid scenario where some tasks can happen parallelly and some tasks are dependent on others. This is the most common scenario I would say but this template can handle all these possible scenarios. Each task takes a certain number of hours to complete and each task is assigned to a resource. The resource then will work on the task when he or she is available to work. This is basically how the the project management framework works here and the goal is to optimize the duration of the project and also the cost involved. On one side you know specifically how long a task will take. On the other side you know which resources are available and when are they available. The whole thing is about tying these two together in such a way that you are minimizing the duration of the project and the cost involved as much as possible. So that's the basic framework. And there are two stages in this project management here. The first is planning of the project, and this happens before the project begins. And then once the project starts, then you do manage the project. So there are two stages. In the first stage, the project planning stage, you basically you know, look into the number of tasks, what are the tasks, how long will each task take, and you look into who are the resources that will be assigned to this project? What are their availabilities for the duration of the project? Then you assign tasks to specific resources and then you evaluate your plan. When will the project complete? How long will it take? How much will it cost? And then you make some changes to optimize whatever your goals may be. Then this, the second stage, the project management stage, after you lock your project plan, after the project begins, you start managing it. So you will want to update the actual work being done, track the actual work being done, who did the work, how long did they do it, on which days. And this helps you to track the progress of the project towards its ultimate goal. And during this stage, there may be some new gaps that arise and you can look into what those gaps are and make some changes to fix them. And finally, you want to give updates on where the project is to the different stakeholders so you can share high-level report or dashboard to the stakeholders on the current status of the project. So now going specifically into the project planning phase, it involves very simple and easy data entry. You enter the data about the availability of the resources, which workdays they are available, how long are they available, does the company have any holidays and what are the usual weekend dates for the holiday company and also the resources can take personal leave so you want to make sure that you provide all these inputs to the template. 
you also have to specify what are the tasks, how long will they take, and who is going to work on which task. That's it. This is the simple, easy data entry that the template needs. Then it provides smart feedback, and you can identify the issues with the project, whether the project will complete or not, whether the specific tasks will complete or not, tasks that are not going to complete, tasks that are delayed at the start because you don't have resources ready to work on it. All of these would be instantly available to you so that you can take some actions on it. You also can understand which resources are being underutilized, meaning you know, they are available, but you're not actually using them for any task. So these things will help you to take some actions to optimize your project. So in addition, you can also know at any given point of time, what's the summary? So how long will the overall project take? What's the total cost involved? How many tasks are there? And overall resource from a resource perspective, how many hours are they available? So not only the issues, but also you can understand high level summary of the project. So that's easy to communicate to your stakeholders. The second stage is the project management stage. In this stage, it involves even simpler data entry. You only enter the actual work being done in a simple table, that's it. And the template will provide, again, identify if there are any issues with the project. It's instantly will highlight to you in a visual way so that you can take actions to address those issues. You will also know where you are in terms of completion of the project, what percentage of the project is complete, and all the other metrics that I've talked about, they are readily updated. As soon as you update the actual work being done, all these metrics will update instantly. In addition to these basic features, there are some advanced features in this template. The automatic task scheduling is huge because once um, you provide the basic information about the tasks, the template will automatically schedule the task for you. This is a huge time saver for any project manager or project planner. A task can have up to two predecessors, which is great when you have dependent tasks. Now you can actually you know, handle them. The task can have preferred start dates. This means that you can control when the task can begin. So if, for example, you don't want to start a specific task before a specific date, you can provide that input to the template and the template will not schedule the task before the preferred start date. Tasks can also be prioritized. For example, if you have two tasks and you assign it to the same person and the person is available to work, so which task will they do first? You can control that. You can prioritize the task in this template. Instant updates to the plan when actuals are entered. So as I mentioned, when you update the actual work being done, the plan gets updated instantly and immediately you can see whether the plan um, says whether the project will complete or not or how much will it cost. All of those details will instantly update. Actual work can be performed by a resource different than the planned one. So even though the task um, is assigned to only one resource from a planning perspective, when you update the actual work, sometimes if the work was done by a different person, the template can still handle that. The project summary, you can view the project summary and the dashboard, not only for today's status, but also you can type in any past date to understand where you were at that point of time. So this is huge. If you want to look back at what was the original plan, you can easily go back by just typing in the date. So this is huge. The customized Gantt charts, the Gantt charts you can build weekly, daily, or monthly. You can also look at it for one resource at a time, or you can look at it for all the tasks at the same time. So it's more customizable. And also you get the burn down chart where you can see how much of work is actually done, how much work is remaining. So these are all the features that are embedded in this template. And the template is very, very easy to use. There are some limitations to this template as well. You can only do manage one project at a time. However, if you want to manage a second project, you can create another copy of the document, but you cannot manage two projects in the same template. There are, there's a limit of up to 200 tasks that you can have in one project. Only one resource can be assigned to a task. You cannot have one task being done by two, assigned to two different resources at a time. 
there's no baselining of plan. What I mean by this is you cannot lock your plan and you can compare your current plan to the original plan. So there's no baselining. Your plan is getting updated. As you enter the actual data, the plan will get updated instantly. You cannot compare with the original plan. If a task has a predecessor, it will always start the day after the predecessor is complete. And these are of the few limitations that the template has. Now, just to summarize, this is project management made very, very simple, easy, quick. The data entry is very simple and easy. It reduces the data entry so much for the project planner that it's so quick to get started and complete managing your project very, very quickly. Automatic scheduling of tasks is huge. The smart visual feedback throughout the template helps in improving the project, improving the project duration, improving the project cost. It improves. It just makes the job of a planner very, very easy to make sure that the project can complete and the project planning is reasonable. The ready to share dashboards and custom Gantt charts can come in very, very handy if you have multiple stakeholders and if you have to share the information with them. The resources management and also the cost management is in, built into this template. So if you want to track the cost that's involved in the project at a resource level and also to manage the time each resource is spending, all of this can be done within this template. And above all, all of these features are available to you in a tool that's already familiar to you, which is Microsoft Excel. So you don't have to learn something brand new. There's no training involved. You just start using it right away. And within minutes, you're you know, actually benefiting from the simplicity and also the features that are embedded in this template.